pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So it worked out pretty good there. For most patients, when they have an amputation, the brain still thinks the hand is there, so they can move the hand even though it doesn't exist. And the muscles that would normally move the hand still behave in the same way as if the hand was there. So if you make a big muscle contraction, then the muscles actually do that, even though the hand's not there. And that's the signal we detect, is that muscle contracting in the arm. This hand does give a higher level of functionality, um, allowing the patient to grasp many objects in, in, in a more natural way. I think the, the other big advantage is the look of the hand. Um, patients will feel much more confident because they have a hand that operates more like the human hand. Existing electric hands are just like this. The thumb and the fingers come in together in one plane and you only get that pincer grip. Now we can mimic that with this hand, but we can also put it into different positions. So if I can operate it here, that's the hand in a position that you would use as a human to do what we call the power grip, so that would be for holding objects quite firmly. And you can't do that with existing electric hands. We can put this into what we would call the key grip, which is where, as you'd imagine, you turn a key in a lock. Again, existing electric hands can't do that. And then we can put it into the pincer grip, where the thumb and the fingers meet together in a precision grasp to give us a three-point grip. We found that there are two patient groups for the hand. There are those that want their hand to look as natural as possible for those that we have to produce a, a cover, if you like, a skin for the hand, which is as realistic as possible. And that's actually been a significant challenge for us that's taken us a while to overcome. And there's a second group of patients who do like the hand to look as you term it as a terminator hand. And for those patients, we have a different skin, which accentuates the robotic nature of the hand. So my expectation was, OK, I'm going to get this arm, and it's going to be able to do cool things, but it's going to be real heavy, and it's going to be bulky, and it's there's going to be it may be able to do these things, but it's going to take a lot of work. And what's been cool about it is it's real easy. I mean, it's no different as far as like the muscle structure, having to be able to open and close with just the two muscles. That's exactly the same as it's always been for me using a Mayo. But it's amazing just using an open and close. It has the ability to do, I mean, no, so many more things that you can't do with just a Mayo, and I, all I'm doing is using the same two muscles, and it's real easy.